Canada, our population is predominantly now becoming more and more foreign born. Um, because of the, the um, birth tourism that Canada opened up to China, it allowed people coming in. We, we covered this on the channel years ago, back in 2015, 2016, 2017, talking about birth tourism in Canada and how we were showing you guys in hospitals in Canada across in the West Coast, primarily in the West Coast, how birth tourism from China was actually making up the population of Canada. And it looked like our birth population in Canada was kind of streamlined, but it wasn't streamlined because, again, of birth tourism. And we were talking about a lot of people were coming in from China and having their children here in Canada and granted immediate citizenship. Mind you, if you are in other parts of the world and you came and had a child here, they deport you. There was a woman that was coming in from Portugal that was coming for an uncle's funeral in Toronto and she was pregnant and she was told by the, by the Canadian Customs border that if she had a child, she would be actually detained and deported immediately from Canada. So, so it wasn't like she was coming to do anything. It's just she had to go bury her uncle, uh, father's brother, who uh, passed away also years ago in Portugal. It's a long story short, but she was told basically that she's not welcome in Canada. So Canada maintained a birth level, even though our death rate, the death rate of Canadians are higher than the birth rate for of Canadians in Canada, of Canadian proper, right? So, so let's go into what's happening in the United States right now. So analysis, U.S. foreign born population approaches 50 million under Joe Biden. So under the Biden selection, we are seeing this. The United States foreign-born population is approaching 50 million, the highest ever. Less than three years ago into President Joe Biden's policy to expand immigration levels by executive power. Analysis from the Center of Immigration Studies, CIS, of the U.S. Census Bureau's current population survey, CPS, reveals that the last month, the nation's foreign-born population stands about 49.5 million just 500,000 immigrants short of hitting 50 million. The figure shows how quickly Biden had ballooned immigration to the United States. CPS data indicates that about 2.2 million illegal and legal immigrants have been added to the nation's population in the last year alone. So this is Biden wins and look at the population right there spike up. Now, I'm going to show you guys why. I'm going to I'm going to look this up raw right now, live raw for you guys. Watch. Watch this. So now go to images. You remember? So when, when, when the second Joe Biden got selected, all this started happening. You had plants or shock troops, people waiting in Central America and in Mexico, waiting for Biden's selection to go through to allow hundreds of thousands of migrants in and those were called the migrant trains we were covering the migrant trains in depth on mike in the night now in these images here you will see uh basically haitian it, they had a very big we're talking hundreds of thousands of haitians that were unjuiced with no arm, arm candy coming into the country and um tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands were coming in and during right after the Biden selection. So it was almost like it was a planned demolition. It was almost like it was a planned demolition to destroy America. They wouldn't do it under, obviously they would not do it under Trump's administration. So they waited and look at these underpasses. Look at these underpasses here. This is crazy. Of And these are all Haitian migrants right here in Texas. Deportation of Haitian migrants and it's just crazy. And... And how they got to America, I'm not even going to tell you. We covered this. I won't tell you. You know why? Because you won't believe a word I'll tell you. You won't believe what I'm going to tell you if I told you. How they got to America from Haiti through Mexico. It's beyond Mike of the Night. And that's what's happening there. And um, Canada did the same thing, but they did it more with wealthy uh, Chinese and uh, birth tourism. I'll, I'll bring that up too so you guys... Um, no, I'm not um, making this stuff up. So, so it's over here. 
birth tourism, China travel limits. So this is not from long ago. They've they're I don't know if they're clamping down. Canada's massive and easily fixed birth tourism problem. Canadian doctors say birth tourism on the rise. It could hurt the healthcare system. That's May 24, 2023. Richmond resident uh, denies running so-called birth birthing houses. There was birthing houses all over uh, Western Canada and parts of Toronto. And all about money. How women travel to Canada to give birth and could uh, could strain the healthcare system. That's on July, uh, January 4, 2020. So all this stuff was happening before they pulled the trigger on the pandemic. And I wanted to share this with you guys. So you guys know I'm not making this stuff up. And and because we've been on this all these years, right? We are pre-COVID. So lots happened. Everything happened pre-COVID, right? Everything happened pre-COVID. 